Hi everyone, welcome back to another flight training vlog. Now, the aim of this video is to help student pilots in Canada to visualize what happens on a flight test. That being said though, I wanted to publish a big disclaimer here. This video still won't be in no way a substitute of your primary aviation education and training. Some clips may have been cut out and edited for time, so please consult your local flight school and flight instructors as rules and regulations might differ from the time of recording. For people just tuning in for the first time on my channel, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Paul, a flight instructor in Canada, and I publish aviation videos as well. Please consider subscribing. Anyhow, this is my student Nauta and I doing a simulated check ride or flight test prep from Bounder Bay Airport just south of Vancouver. Bounder Bay Airport belongs to the top 5 busiest airport in the country in terms of air traffic, so that speaks for itself on how challenging it is to learn how to fly here. Brief background, my student Nato is a full-time international student from Japan. He has been impressive to start his flight training as we were about to do the last bit of preparation before his flight test in this video. Just two and a half months from when he started flying. Uh, truly impressive, thus the title of this video. So if you want to know more how he's done it, you may contact him through his Instagram and follow his YouTube channel as well. All right, let's start the engine. And if you're looking for the perfect eyewear fit for flying and traveling, get an extra 10% off and use my coupon code. Link is available down below. Prep. <laughs> oh, you watched it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I told you, right? Okay, it was... 3, 2, 1. It was terrible. <laughs> But now you can see the difference, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good. Your runway length remaining, 4,900 feet. On initial contact, form back to ATC, you have information, Charlie. Yes. I have Charlie. You get one circuit before departure to the east. Okay. And taxi clear winds. Good afternoon. Uh, Bay Grounds is from 52 Golf Fox Rock, Bravo, Bravo, at April 1. With information, Charlie requests uh, one circuit and departing local east. As Nauta is taking our clearance, I wanted to post this on the screen. This is a flight test report which examiners use to mark you and give you grades on your flight test. It is important to note that before you go flying, you will have to successfully pass a ground or what we call an oral portion of the test. This includes questions about aircraft documents, weight and balance, aircraft performance, its systems, pre-flight inspection and your pre-flight planning for a simulated navigation. You will be marked on a scale of 1 to 4, 1 being the lowest and 4 being the highest. Zero, one, one. The run-up won't be shown anymore but rest assured it's completed as always. And shortly you will see Naoto provide his ETE and ETA towards the simulated destination. Afterwards, we are going to taxi to the active runway, in this case, runway 13. We'll do one circuit before a departure to the practice area. So, ETE to Chilliwack is 40 minutes, and departure time is 5.52. So, ETA uh, to the Chilliwack is 6.32. Okay, sounds good. And Radio when ready. There's just going there. Same again, Osco, with the traffic. Fox or Bravo, Bravo, Tower Line of Runway 13 Alpha. Fox or Bravo, Bravo. Echo India Echo, Tower Line of Runway 13 Alpha, number two for departure. Echo India Echo, holding short on Apron 13. Echo India Echo, Roger. Line up Runway 13 Alpha, number two for departure behind Cessna Head. Echo India Echo, line up. Fox or Bravo, Bravo, Tower delay in position is approved. One circuit as well, wind 1705 knots from Alpha, clear for takeoff runway 13. Hold short, Bravo, Bravo. Bravo, to the Quebec Tower, hold short runway 13 for circuit traffic. You're cleared to land runway 25. Bravo, to the Quebec, hold short 13. Lima Delta Austria, uh, you're set to now 12 o'clock, two yes. miles ahead, turning left base. Uh, Lima Delta Austria, with the traffic. Roger. Temperature, pressure check, overall. Just down to the floor. I'll cross the correction a little bit and from the right. There's a piece of wall. Echo 
Echo Indy Echo Tower, departing Cessna Head is uh, remaining in the circuit from Alpha, clear for takeoff runway 13 for the Automall departure. Echo Indy Echo. Nicely done, now to. Nicely done. 208, positive rate, love smoke. I just make sure you use your peripherals for your drifting off of center line. Nauta did a short field takeoff, which will then be followed by a short field landing. Please note that examiners may ask you to do a stop and go on your actual ride. We were not able to get it, therefore defaulting to a touch and go instead. I'm not going into details as to how or what are the guidelines and limits to get a perfect mark. The flight test guide is available off of the Transport Canada website, so please feel free to download a copy. Two ten one eight tower, exit left on Delta contact ground one two four decimal three off the runway. Have great. There's a uh, short field landing short here. Landing, yeah. Short field. Yep. Lima Delta Oscar Towers clear for touch and go runway one three traffic exiting at Delta. Nauta is setting up for the short field approach here, keeping in mind the aim and the limits. Bravo, Bravo Towers clear for touch and go runway one or three on departure fly the automobile departure the uh, traffic departing ahead will be remaining in the circuit. Oxo Bravo Bravo. Change and route frequencies. Have a good flight. Uh, thanks for your time. Good luck. No problem. Echo and Echo Tower surveillance services terminated. Change and route frequencies. Getting. Echo and Echo. Ah, that's okay. Lima Delta Oscar Tower number up. three. Follow so, Cessna uh, 11 o'clock. Wide left bar. base. Headed for a one three quarter mile final on a full stop. With the traffic, Lima Delta Oscar. Temperature pressure three. Temperature pressure three. Okay, heading for the game. That's if it all works out along the way. on the ground is not compatible because I did sure a circuit. Get, uh, try to make that work for so you. So I'll give you the revised ETA. Delta Victor Papa Tower. Over Clover. Overall, that was a very good circuit from Nauto. The approach was excellent. However, the touchdown zone limits almost was not met, potentially losing a mark. Also, please remember to maintain your altitude on downwind and control your drift the whole time you are in the circuit. And as you just watched, Nauta just told me that he's about to commence the navigation portion, letting me know very briefly about his plans and estimates. This is the time wherein you'll need to have your maps and navigation logs out, as these include the main parts of the exercise. That's the one here now, number two, third, and a full stop. Roger, yeah, 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 Oh, no. Yeah, I have to. Uh, uh, this one first. Yeah. Open this. Bravo, Bravo. Okay. So I want you to remember that. Tower, Cessna Alpha 2, Golf Fox, Sharp, Bravo, Bravo, Southwest of Clover, Delta 2300 feet. Request traffic on advisory eastbound to Glen Valley. Oh. Alpha 2, Golf Fox, Sharp, Bravo, Langley, Terra Squawk, Intel, temperature 3009er. Fox, Bravo, Bravo. Our traffic just went behind you, uh, westbound, type in on 2000. Yeah, with the traffic. 300, uh, verified, you're identified. Traffic inside, Fox, Sharp, Bravo, Bravo. So it's over Cloverdale. I'm gonna turn to 065. And let you know the time after turn. Sounds good. It told me 632, so we'll see. Uh, right. Is that Mount Fuji? 
Uh, no, it's not. It looks like Mount Fuji. Look at this from my phone. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little busy now. Oh, you're busy? Little, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. But can I take pictures? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So, according to the my nav log, it's six, uh, five minutes past six. Okay. And we see it's 20 minutes. So, actually, it's getting earlier, but yeah, at this moment is 6.25. Okay, no, that makes sense. And I'm going to give you the revised TK. Hey, I mean, um, Langley, which no, is my first uh, checkpoint. No, it's good, sir. Uh, by the way, I'm going to set my heading point uh that blocking area. But visual. Okay, don't say set heading point. I'll okay. say my Landmark. Yeah, heading point is that. Yeah. yeah. My... Landmark. Landmark. Yeah. What you can do is actually just choose Chilliwack Mountain because you're going there. Right? Oh, it's okay. Because so a little to the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to choose Chilliwack Mountain. Good. As Nauto is busy with the navigation exercise and busy providing an ETA and constantly revising it, Please don't forget that the most important thing is to maintain your track and constantly correct for winds, alright? So please allow me to cut through the navigation portion here and proceed to the meat and potatoes of the video, the main exercises. Land body traffic system on 5K Golf Fox on Bravo Bravo over Highway 1 to 2300 feet. Entering the practice area from the southwest and flying eastbound. And turn on the lights. Yeah. Alright, take the hood. Okay. Grab the hood. Control. My controls. I'm good with that. Um, I want you to give me a climbing turn to 3,000 feet to the left, please. 1,000 feet to the left. Is left side clear? Left side is clear. Good job okay. on asking. Okay. And climbing turn to 3,000. Yep. And uh, let's maintain a zero one zero on the zero one zero. And uh, let's try to climb at around uh, 85 knots if you can. 85 knots. Glen Valley traffic, Fox Bravo, Bravo, 2,700 feet, climbing at 3,000, west side of Crescent Island, uh, northbound heading. Let's go back to 010. Zero, zero. Okay, good job. All right, my controls. Controls. All right, uh, look below, the usual okay. attitudes here. Controls. I control, spiral. Oh, airspeed. So if you're doing your airworks here, yes. just be mindful of the rising terrain and stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, if Cole asks you, okay, what altitude do you want? Uh -huh. Just say three five. Okay. Right, three five or higher. Three thousand might work, but. If you fly around this area, yeah. then you don't have 2,000 yeah. feet anymore. Can I climb to 4,000? You can. Yeah, okay. just communicate with him. Okay. Right. I would, yes. because the sun is coming from here. Yes. Turn to the left. Okay. Clean Valley traffic. There's a 172 Valley. Clean Valley. Clean Valley. Clean Valley. Clean Valley. Makes sense, yeah? Uh, you can just kind of angle so we're in yeah. between the river or the valleys. The next exercise that we're trying to prepare for is slow flight. Rest assured that before we commence that we have done the proper clearing turns, safety checks, and radio calls. I'm just going to fast forward it here because from the name of the exercise, this might take a while. Also, I don't want you to memorize our procedure for entering slow flight. Each school varies, but we all follow the same criteria and standards anyway. The name of the game is to be slow and be patient. 
Okay, good. Let's uh, roll wings level here. That's okay. We'll head to the east or west. Sorry. Let's uh, recover. Off stop. Still building off. Okay. Let's do a steep turn, please. Turn. Do one to the left. Okay. Uh. Again, safety checks are completed as well as radio calls. Steep turn is a 45 degree angle of bank turn wherein you'll need to perform within a very tight limit of altitude, speed, angle of bank, and heading rollout. Clear right, let's do one to the right. To the right. I don't have to repeat myself, but I still will. Before we commence the power on stall exercise, the clearing turns, safety checks, and radio calls were promptly done. Up a little too early. Nicely done. Good. I love your rudder control there. Perfect. And then. Viral. Alright, well, you have controls. I control. Okay, engine failure. Lim traffic, uh, Cessna 152, Gulf Fox, Bravo, Bravo, just north of Crescent Island, 3,400 feet, descending towards the fields, practicing force approach. Um, and uh, we're coming in from the north. Uh, previous traffic, this is Julie Mike Tango, just in the center of the farmer's field at uh, about 1,700 feet, uh, just uh, simulating a force approach. Okay, Roger, that will be looking for you. Uh, and, uh, we've got one traffic off of our uh, 1 o'clock uh, heading northbound, should be no conflict as well. Here, okay. approach, I'm gonna fly over midfield. Okay. And turn this way and overshoot to the okay. west. And close check. Now, there's two criteria on this exercise. First is your control of approach, and secondly, your cockpit management. Again, procedures and styles of teaching varies from each school. I won't be sharing our procedure completely, so please do not use it as a guide. Rather, just a sneak peek of what happens on a flight test. Thank you very much. But the ultimate goal is to make the field on this exercise, but more on this on the published flight test guide. Okay, where are you going to touch that? I think I'm still on. Okay, so all the way, save it, save it. Now I'm going to touch one third of the field. Okay, overshoot. You had flaps 30 there, right? Yeah. Good. And flaps 20, flaps 10, flaps up. Alright, you have a high oil temperature, low pressure. Okay. So I'm gonna reduce the power at 500 feet. Uh, it's okay, we can go 800 feet. Okay. Uh, 800 feet. I initiated the precautionary landing exercise with a time constraint situation, meaning with an urgent situation or a pending emergency. I will cut through the clips again, but essentially Nauta will level off here and turn back to set up for an approach to the field. This is a vast exercise with so many potential situations. For example, there might be a situation that you need a pan-pan call, some don't. So please talk to your flight instructor instead. Also, I want you to observe how we always pay attention with traffic and uh, had to pause the exercise for a bit here since there is a conflicting. This could happen on your flight test. Uh, it's calm. 
Yep, I'll keep an eye on him. Don't worry okay. about it. So let's okay. uh, angle it out here yeah. to the right a little bit, clear right. Well, my traffic says no on 5 take off off traffic. Okay, so I don't want you okay. to turn. Do a 360 here. Okay. Clear right. Right. Uh, Glen Valley traffic, this is Foxtrot Bravo Bravo, we have that traffic on the opposite uh, pattern here on the Glen Valley fields. We're doing a quick 360, waiting for you to overshoot, and then uh, we are shooting the approach from the east towards the west. And he's not even talking. <laughs> Shortly after we sorted out that traffic, Nauto resumed the exercise. But I love your procedure, sir. That's all that matters. And uh, don't forget your PPPs and uh, the examiner will help you out in that yeah. kind of situation. All right, let's overshoot. Uh, there's clouds at like 2,000 feet. Okay, I'm gonna uh, keep 1,500 feet. Okay. As you can see, I had given Nauto another simulated situation. He understood and responded by initiating a diversion. Typically, this route will be given in the general direction towards flying back to your home airport. Lambay traffic system on 5 take off of Shop Bravo Bravo, south of Farmersville, uh, 1300 feet, climbing 1500. So give me a heading first so we can turn. Heading 236. Oh, you're getting uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You will need to provide rough calculations towards that simulated alternate destination that was instructed to you. This is probably the toughest to teach as there is a lot of things going on. You are flying the plane, navigating, and communicating all while doing math mentally. You're not allowed to use your E6B, any flight computer, or your ruler. You just kind of have to wing it. Pun intended. So what you can do at this point, hey examiner, I see Point Roberts. Yeah. I'll fly visually towards there. Okay. Right. 12 minutes, and so revised ETA is... 659. 659, okay. So the diversion exercise sometimes will be complete after you have provided an acceptable revised ETA. At this point, you are now very close to the finish line. Expect to be given one more emergency and then obviously one more landing. Do not stress out and do not be anxious. Chances are that you have flown a very, very good flight. Do not overthink as well. Stay in the present and finish the test well. Is there any reason that you climb to 2,000 feet? Yeah, sorry. You climbed to 2,000 feet? Yes, there is a reason for that. Okay. You have a left Please wing fire. Okay. Bravo, okay. Check off runway 19. Off. Faster off. And slip to the right. Okay. Can I? Yep, do it. Yep. Like, really show me a slip. The actual proper slip. Right, bring out the power. Right, do it again, do it again. So take out the power. So I have to descend. Yep. Okay. So start descending. Your examiner might give you this. Good. And pull out the checklist. As Nauto is verifying the emergency checklist for the simulated wing fire, he is also being marked on his slipping technique, which is exercise number 15. Shortly after, I will surprise him with a little challenge of changing runways last minute to test his crosswind normal landing. I gave you three emergencies, which is nice. That is commercial oh, really? level, yes. And the landing trip, armor lock, press on, on the boat, lights on, perfect on. Great, so you can do a good check, and descend to 800 feet, or Fox up, Bravo, Bravo, and 800 feet, join, uh, Left base one three. Bob, Bob, kill. Correction. Fox and Bravo, Bravo, tower number one, runway one three. Fox and Bravo, roll. Tower clear to land, runway one three. And a uh, tower from Fox and Bravo. Any chance for a zero seven full stop? Fox and Bravo, Bravo, tower clear to land, runway zero seven. Wind check one six zero four. Thank you. Uh, clear to land zero seven, Fox and Bravo. So let's touch down at the end of the five hundred foot markers. Again, this is not a Thank short you. field. Okay. There's a normal uh, approach and landing. Okay. Looking for a full stop. Quebec Zero, guitar turn base now, number one, runway one three. Quebec Zero, whiskey. Calling Bonnerby, tower, say again. Base tower, Quebec Zero, whiskey. Five minutes for five. Whiskey tower, you can turn base, you're number one, but someone else calling me. Uh, stop Quebec it, tower, we November can make that a problem. Oh, don't turn just yet, make sure you... 
and looks like Naruto just landed right on the money. At this point, the stress is released and most likely you will be able to evaluate yourself as well. Good examiners do not prolong the agony anymore and they tell you right away if you passed or not. Just don't screw up the parking, okay? That's it guys, I hope I helped you with this video. Please share it to your friends, especially to the ones who need it. The last tip and probably most important is don't fall behind the aircraft. Stay in the moment but also plan ahead for the next exercise. Show the examiner that you have what it takes to be a PIC, a pilot in command. Good luck and I'll see you in the sky soon. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers guys. Later. Oh, yes. You made me happy, sir. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Yeah, yeah. Right? So in case, in real in, situation. In real situation, yeah. yes. On your flight test, if you deploy flaps and you feel like you're still high, do a slip. Make the field. Okay. That's the last thing you want. Okay. Make the field. Okay. Make the field. Doesn't matter if you fly a perfect procedure. If mm -hmm. you're gonna be high, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Okay. You're gonna fail. Okay. Make the field. That is your mentality. Make the field. Make the field. Make the field.